Welcome to Business Live. I'm Mark Crossgrey in BL tonight. Property company here, that's Kingston Properties Limited. Dividend consideration coming up by the Board of Directors. Advisory by K. Pritt that the Board of Directors will consider a dividend payment to all of their shareholders at a meeting scheduled for October 13th of this year. No large big time bakery, that's Honey Bun 1982 Limited, ticker symbol Hon Bun, trading their shares here. A senior manager on the buy side for Honey Bun 1982 Limited, purchasing just under 9,000 shares. 8,629 shares on September 30th, 2022 to end September with a bang for Honey Bun. Now, Dollar Financial Services Limited, that's ticker symbol Dollar, leading microfinance, microcredit company out there. Appointment of a senior manager here, sending shockwaves through the financial markets, the microfinance markets as well. Dollar comes out with a big time announcement to the JSE, our very own Jamaica Stock Exchange, that they're pleased to announce the appointment of Ms. Devita McLaren as Chief Strategy Officer. Officer at CSO effective October 3rd, 2022. Of course, the market knows she's coming from Access Financial, tenured longtime team member of Access before, now with Dollar Financial. Now, Fesco, that's Future Energy Source Company Limited, trading their shares as well. Advisory that a director sold a total of 10.083 million shares. Large trade here, material trade, significant trade in Fesco between September 28th and September 29th. 2022 and last up tonight sterling asset management don't confuse it with the publicly traded sterling investments but you know sterling asset management here that securities dealer well known in the marketplace especially for bonds you know fixed income investments especially on the US dollar side they held an investor briefing it was at Spanish court hotel on the economy inflation interest rates and it was a fiery spicy evening especially with the panelists there no it was riveting investor briefing that spoke about a wide reaching discussion on Jamaica, the Caribbean economies, and in particular, what was happening in terms of fast-paced interest rate increases by our very own central bank, Bank of Jamaica, BOJ, as well as price increases being seen in Jamaica, the Caribbean regionally and globally, and many other important topics. It was a great evening. Sterling Asset panelists, as we said, you know, at the top of the show, had an exciting divergence of opinions and views on the economy, and it kept it interesting and top of mind on many financial topics and products, etc. by Sterling. I'm Mark Crosscree. Have a great evening. This is Business Life.